Good morning, Bible scholars, and welcome again to Children's Church. We have been talking all month about the one thing that we want to do in order to make our New Year's resolution. We've been talking about several different topics this month, and today we're going to talk about something that God has given each and every one of us. And what God has given each and every one of us is talent. God has given us a talent that we that surpasses all other things. Many of us not, do not know what that one great talent is, but we're going to talk about the parable of the talents, which may sound just a little bit different from what we're going to finish off with today. So before we um, begin this lesson, let us have a short prayer. God in heaven, we thank you for all of the talents that you have given us. We thank you, Lord God, for your son, Jesus. We thank you for the Holy Spirit that indwells in each and every one of us. And we ask in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that you would just help us to understand that God has given us special a special purpose in life. He has given us special things in our lives, Lord God, that we need to show ourselves and show others that this talent that God has given us comes from you. We thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, this lesson that we're going to cover um, today comes from Matthew chapter 25, verses 14 through 30. This lesson comes from Matthew chapter 25, verses 14 through 30. Now, this lesson that we're going to cover, we're going to talk about it, and we're going to see a short video clip that explains the parable of the talents. Now, when we talk about talents, what do we think about? Do we think about how great we are? What types of um, things we can do well? Do we have a talent for singing? Or do we have a talent for drawing? Or do we have a talent for um, being public speakers, doing poetry? God has given us many, many talents. But in this lesson, the talents that we're going to talk about comes in the form of money. Okay? When we invest money into various things, which our pastor is really, really good in investing, that's a talent. That's a talent that God has given him. So, as we move through this lesson, we're going to talk about how a talent can be of benefit to each and every person. Okay, now, there was a man that gave each of his servants different amounts of money. When um, you think of talents, we often picture, picture having certain abilities. But in this case, we're talking about money. God gives um, us talents. And when he gives us these talents, as this man gave talents to each one of his servants, he gave them in different increments. He gave one servant one amount of talents. He gave another servant another amount of talents. And he gave the last servant a certain amount of talents. Now, as we go through this, par this parable, we can even put um, what we're saying 
to um a point um put their talents to um a point where we say now what are we going to do with the talents that God has um given us just as this master said to his servants what are you going to do with the talents that I give you so what we're going to do is look at a short clip as to what these persons did with their talents. Once there was a man that was going on a long trip. He had his servants take care of his property while he was gone. The master gave each man the number of talents he knew he could manage. He gave one servant five talents, one servant two talents, and one servant one talent. The man that was given five talents went to work using his master's money and before long had doubled it and had ten talents. The man with two talents also doubled his talents and had four talents. The man with the one talent went and buried his talent in a hole. After a long time, the master returned to see what the servants had done with his talents. The first servant came to him and said, Master, you gave me five talents, and now I have gained five more. The master was happy he had put his talents to good use and told him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things, so I will make you ruler over many. Then the servant that had two talents came to his master and said, Master, you gave me two talents, and now I have four. The master was happy he had put his talents to good use and told him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things, so I will make you ruler over many. Then the servant that had gotten only one talent came and said, Lord, I knew you were a tough man, and I was afraid. So I went and hid your talent in the earth, and here is the talent that is yours. The master was mad, and the servant had not put his talent to good use, like the other two servants, and told him, You wicked and lazy servant! You know that I am a tough man, but you didn't do anything with my talent. So the master took his talent and gave it to the servant with ten. The lesson of this story is that we need to use whatever talent God has given us, and he will increase it so that we can live our lives to better glorify him. All right, Bible scholars, why do you think the master was so angry at the person that just gave one talent? Think about that. What did the person that was just given one talent, what did he do with it? Well, the person that was given the one talent thought that his master was a cruel and wicked man. And he tried to hide the money so that even though the master would take it away, the intention of the master was not to hurt his servants, but to bless them with more. He was happy to bless the wise servants with more than what he had given them. Sometimes we do this to God. We act like he is watching us and waiting for us to mess up, hoping to punish us. God wants to bless us. He sometimes has to discipline us when we disobey, but that isn't what God wants. He gives us all that we have so that we can do his will. When we use our time, money, and abilities to do positive things, that shows that we appreciate them. If God made you to be a great musician or made you to be a great dancer, then you need to keep that talent that God has given you. If God made you to have talents 
in ways that help others, then serve him. Serve him and others with your talent. If God made you extra great at school, be a wonderful student and help others who might struggle. There are lots of ways that you can share your blessings, and when you do that, you will receive more blessings. Our pastor has been given talents through the Holy Spirit. He has been given the word of God to preach. Our pastor, if you notice, delivers speeches on Sunday with no notes. That's a talent. That's a talent that God has given our pastor to deliver his message in the powerful way in which he delivers the message with no notes. That's a talent. And he wants us to use our talents in the same way, to be a blessing to others. As our pastor is a blessing to us, as he delivers the message, you can be a blessing to others by using your talents. Now, in this story, the talents was presented as money. It was presented as money that the master had given his um, servants to use in a wise way, not to bury, not to bury it, but to use it to double whatever um, that, um, to double the money that he had given them. And God wants us to use our ta talents. He does not want us to bury it. He wants us to use it to the utmost of his kingdom. So, Bible scholars, let's take this parable of talents and use it to the utmost of our God's kingdom. Now, Bible scholars, let's pray. Most gracious and heavenly Father, we ask you that you will allow us to use the talents and the abilities that you have given us. How can we use our specific talents, Lord God, to honor and to serve others? We can use those talents by sharing. We can use those talents by giving our all. We can use those talents by doing what God has asked us to do. God has given us a purpose. And in that purpose, Lord God, we pray that you will allow us to do your will in a positive manner so that we can bless others and serve others with what we have. In the blessed and holy name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. Well, Bible scholars, we're at the end of this lesson, and we want you, Bible scholars, to use your talents to uplift our, the, the kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Bible scholars, be safe. Have a great week.